What is up guys, this is Theo here, uh, coming to you live with another JavaScript coding video. Today the topic is going to be how to understand the CRUD operations using JavaScript and working with the array data structure. Uh, an array is a simple data structure where you can store elements by index and you can look them up by index. Uh, it's not always the fastest, but it's used uh, very often. I use it a lot at work and uh, you can really store anything in JavaScript with it and this is not the case with other programming languages where you have to specify beforehand and they're strongly typed. Um, I mean, you can create arrays but JavaScript lets you store different types of variables in them uh, without much fuss. So let's get started guys. We just want to create JavaScript array and we're going to store some names. We can take that off for now. We're going to store some names. So we're going to store Theo, John, very similar to what I always do, Rick, and James. And we're going to go ahead and create some functions on the prototype. So to do that, we're going to access the array prototype, or type prototype with the dot notation. We're going to create a function called create. And this is going to be a function. Since we have a names array, it's fitting that it will take a name parameter. And all this is going to do um, is it's going to push it onto this dot push. This refers to the array that we're using the method on. So this dot push name. And then after that, we're just going to return this dot length. Or we can we can log out. Um, we can log out this at that point just to see. So let's try out our first method. So we have console.log names.create and this one will be mark. So now if we run with JavaScript, um, we now see that we have this array right here. So we see new array is plus this. If we run it with JavaScript, new array is with the new name added on mark. So that's good, guys. Uh, it's always good to log out, make sure you're getting the data that you expect. Now let's create the second method, which is retrieving the data or reading, as the R in CRUD stands for. Um, so basically, just to see this, we just want to return uh, each element in our array just to look at it. So we will add a method on the prototype. We we'll call read. This will be a function, and all it will do is it'll go, it'll loop over uh, the elements in our array. This stuff for each. Um, it's going to take in a function. It's going to be an uh, an item and a value, and we're just going to log out the item and the value. So. Now that we have that, if we log names.read, we run this with JavaScript, we see that we get the item, which is, this should actually be the other way around. Um, this is the value, and this is the index. So maybe it makes more sense to log out the index and the name. So we have if we run it again, we get the name, which is Theo, and this is index 0, 1, 2, 3. And there, we have it. Um, I think we're getting undefined because we haven't specified that we want one less than the length. Um, so I guess we could do this stuff for each function. If uh, we could do if index is not equal to this dot length minus one. I'm not sure if this will work, guys. I'm just testing it on the fly. So let's try this out. Let's run it again. Still get undefined. Um, if index is not equal to this dot, this dot, uh, this of uh, this dot length minus one, maybe. No, huh. I guess 
once you're in this loop, it's going to loop over everything no matter what. Um, so yeah, but I guess you, you could run a for loop on it. We could use the jQuery dollar each. But that's that function, guys. So let's just go back and get the functionality back. Um, what's that? Runs. All right, that's good. So now that we have that, we need to create our update method. So our update method will just uh, be the same sort of setup, prototype dot update. This will take in a function, and this is going to take in a name. And if name equal to null or name is equal to an empty string we'll just return so we don't want to do anything with that otherwise else you don't really need the else but good practice I think um, otherwise it's so first it's going to take in a name and an update updated name so we want to loop through the array and if the index we're on is equal to the name or the target name then well actually guys let's create an array so we're just going to return them a new array of our updated names If it's equal to the name, um, then we will do updated names of i is equal is equal to the updated name. Else, updated names dot push name. And at the very end of this, we will return updated names. So let's try out our update function. So we have log names dot update. So we have uh, James with Jamie. And let's just run it with JavaScript. And we get James, 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 Jamie. Um, updated pro. This and I updated. Ah, right. Okay. My bad, guys. Uh, okay. So if we run it again, we get Theo Ron. John, Rick, and Jamie. And just to log out, we could we could even say here we could say uh, position plus this of I position plus uh, plus I plus was updated to plus updated name. If we log this out again, just get a little bit more information. Position three was updated to Jamie. Zero, one, two, three. This is array is zero based. So James was updated to Jamie. Makes sense. All right, guys. So let's let's fill out our final um, our final method, which will be to remove or delete. Since JavaScript already has a native delete function, we're going to call ours remove. So again, like we've done before, add it onto the prototype, and uh, we'll say dot remove. This will be a function, and this will just take in a um, a name to remove, and sort of same thing as before. We will just for the sake of uh, showing the functionality, we're, we will create a new array, and we will call it updated array, updated names again. And um, what this will do, we will loop through the names that we're given. Zero, i is less than this dot length, i plus plus. Um, and then we will say if this of i is equal to the name, right, then um, we'll just continue because we don't want to add that to our array. So there's many different ways you could do this. That's the beauty of JavaScript. Otherwise, we will stop push uh, this of i, and at the very end, we will return our updated names. So, guys, 
Um, let's see if this works. Names dot remove. Let's we'll remove my name, Theo. And if we run this, we should see that Theo is skipped over. And because I have this continue statement in here, there's a lot of other ways to do it. Uh, we could have just said if it's not equal to the name, then just push it. There's, it could have been made more simple. But uh, that's it, guys. So right here, I've demonstrated the four basic CRUD uh, functionality operations. And you could see how easy it is, I think, with the other videos I've done about JavaScript local storage to uh, use this to you know, grab your arrays or objects from uh, local storage and manipulate that data. So uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Appreciate the feedback. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, I will be uploading some more content pretty soon. And uh, yeah, guys, always appreciate it. Have a great day.